What's up guys, before the video starts, I just want to quickly mention that I am finally going to be releasing a daisy server in the next update. And it's coming with a lot of exciting features, so if you want to find out more, the server discord is in the description. This time on DayZ, I attempted one of my biggest challenges to date, to survive for 100 hours on vanilla DayZ. In my last 5,000 hours of playing DayZ, I have only really played the modded servers. But this time, I wanted to truly test my skills and play the base game, with stamina, way more zombies, less loot overall, and many more challenges to face. And it made for one hell of a journey. But for it all to make sense, we need to go back to hour one as I'd first joined the server. It all started just outside of Savetlo City. This was a pretty rare spawn to get, so I began making my way into the city. My immediate goal was to find food as quick as possible before I started dying of starvation, but I quickly realized that this place was going to be impossible to loot. I have to run, I have to run, I have to run. There's too many zombies here. Oh, bro, ah, oh, this is not good. This is not good. That is a ridiculous amount of zombies. Wow, this zombie is strong as hell, dude. Right, I reckon it's probably just time to get inland a bit because there's just so many zombies. Keep running. Let's go towards Novod. Ooh, a whole box of ammo, pristine. God damn, that is rare, I have to say. Oh, no chance. Wait, does it have ammo is the question. Oh, my. Three bullets, though. It's not that much. And a box of nails, bro. My first hour was going pretty well until I came across another player. What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? Whoa, 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 whoa. We can be friends if you want. Oh, shoot. It does not sound friendly. To be fair, I did aim at him first. Oh, he's just shot at me. And I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. It was a brutal start to Vanilla Day Z. But it gave me a big wake-up call. Now, this challenge wasn't going to be as easy as I thought. Right, where are we? Berezino. After respawning again, I started searching the coastal city where I got quite lucky finding a decent amount of food. So I took that as an opportunity to make my way far, far inland to Devil's Castle. This place had a fairly high chance of spawning a scoped sniper rifle, which would give me a huge advantage. I'm going to just loot the few spots that might have the gun we're looking for. Oh, bro. That's a shame. We did get a PU scope, but yeah. We kind of need a gun right now, I have to say. With no luck finding a sniper at Devil's Castle, I headed further inland towards Navaya City, where my luck would change. Oh, would you look at that? Not too bad. I kind of want to go to the airfield now, though. Yeah, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to get on top of one of those apartments. And just see what I can see. Let's get into this apartment real quick. I might be able to spot something. Hmm. Like, no gunshots. It's really weird. Oh my god, there is a guy. I hit him once. And he's dead. No way. He looked so geared as well. That's pretty lucky timing, to be honest. But it's just a question of whether he's got teammates or not. That's the only thing. I mean, he looks solo, but he, he could have a teammate nearby. Oh my god, why was he so geared, bro? Why? Yeah, he did have a play carrier. I've got to run. After a lucky kill, I quickly organized my inventory before leaving the city. I was now very geared, and I wanted to stash most of this loot away. So I headed to the next town and managed to find two big bags ideal for a stash. I then found a hidden spot in some trees and stashed some ammo along with a spare gear set. And at this point, I was loaded up and ready for some PvP. So I headed to the one place I knew I would find it. The Northwest Airfield. But just before we get into the action, a 
A quick word from our sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends, a free-to-play mobile game featuring stunning PC-quality graphics, over 800 unique champions, and endless customization options. And get ready, because Raid is introducing an awesome addition to its roster of champions with a brand new rarity, Mythical. A rare breed above the legendary tier with a game-changing mechanic called Metamorph, which essentially allows it to have two champions in one, allowing you to seamlessly switch between forms, each wielding unique Metamorph skills. What's more is both forms share the same artifacts, accessories, masteries, and blessing, giving you a strategic edge in choosing how to unleash their power. These mythical champions are now the most versatile ever seen in Raid, enabling you to tailor your playstyle and create synergies across both forms. So don't miss out. And this October, get ready for a spine-chilling experience with Raid. Embrace the Halloween spirit as you uncover tricks and treats in the Raid Yard. Simply download Raid Shadow Legends using the link below, note your in-game player ID, then explore raidyard.polarium.com from October 15th to November 10th. Enter your player ID and step into the eerie graveyard. Take a shovel, choose a grave, and start digging, and you might unearth some incredible in-game items and even real-life prizes, including epic and legendary Halloween-themed raid champions and Amazon gift cards totaling $20,000. For existing raid players, you can still get involved by visiting raidyard.plarium.com to discover a special promo code for a little in-game treat. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code on screen to get insane bonuses. We are talking an epic champion, Talia, from the Sacred Order faction and other useful things. So once you're in and crushing your enemies, come find me under the name JLK1, and if you're fast enough, you can join my clan. So just hit the link in the description, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Thank you Raid for sponsoring this video, now let's get back to the action. Okay. I can't really see too much from here. Um... Two players, pretty geared. They look pretty geared, man, I have to say. I reckon they could have gone to Bash. Bash is kind of the next spot to loot. There was only two winnable. It's a winnable situation. What is that? Yep, they're here. They're at Bash. One of them's fighting a zombie right now. It's a game of patience right here. It's a game of patience. Yep, there he is. Well, there's one. Okay, he's looting that barrack there. I don't know where the second one is. That's the more important question. I've just killed one. They were both in that barrack. Oh, he's smoking himself. I think he's about to run out. Maybe he's just doing it to cover the body. Oh, no. He's gone. Where's he gone? I'm going to get off this. I'm going to try and flank around and just spot him. Try and spot him in the tree. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> that is a ridiculous amount of loot. 
hit a box of nails as well. We gotta get the hell out of there. We have got to go. We are leaving. We are leaving. Wow, that, do you know what it is? That was so intense. That's when you don't get on these modded servers. No matter, even if it's just a bit more modded. There was so much at stake in that gunfight. But we came out on top, so that's good. After winning that intense fight at the airfield, I didn't want to test my luck. So I headed straight back for the stash I made earlier to call it for the day. Our first six hours on Vanilla Day Z had been very, very prosperous. But... Would that luck continue? Okay, boys, I'm in the server for another day. So obviously we logged out with all of this good stuff. Um, it was insane, I have to say. So today, I'm not going to be solo. I'm actually going to be playing with an, a friend of mine that I used to play quite a long time ago. Uh, so yeah, we'll just make our way down south basically and go meet up with him. That is the plan. Wait a minute. Heli crash! Oh, I see the helicopter. Oh my god, boys, that's so far away. Let's go for it, though. I just hope I get there before someone else gets to it. That's the thing. Oh, shoot. There's a guy right there. Oh, there's two of them, bro. I've got two bottle suppressors, though. I need to keep probably get them and shoot in a sec. Bro, I hit one in the chest, but I guess it's too far to do damage. I've legged one. Okay, one's on con. Shit. I've hit him again. I think he's broken his legs. I can probably flank this. Okay, I've got some height here. I feel like I would see the body. And I don't, so I think he's still alive. Question is, where did he go? Alright boys, I'm gonna try and go for this heli crash real quick. Because I think they've run off these guys. Oh my god, there's no way I've just found that. Hold on, what's this? Oh! There's no way I've just got that, bro. They didn't loot the heli crash. I guess we'll just head down south. Go meet Cameron. Towards pump. Yeah, yeah. See me to your left in this building. I see you now. Oi, oi. What's up? How you doing? <laughs> Long ass Johnny. Can't wait to get one tapped. Okay, so there's a mode oh in God. here. Yeah. Plate carrier. Grab that. Hey, bro. So what do you want to do? We could probably. We could just go airfield. I don't know, man. I almost want to head like south. No, let's go to the airfield. Let's go to the south compound. Crank some water real quick. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm not, I'm not on con. Are you still on con? Are you dead or what? I'm on con. So I'm up. I'm running back to the building. I just literally just hit fire sprayed at him. I probably should have ADS and I could have killed him. I just kind of panicked because I didn't want him to finish you. Yeah. Where the f has he went? Hmm. No idea where he could have run. Yeah, let's run out this way. We'll see if we, if he, uh, we can see him. I feel like he might have run off though. Probably. After about 10 minutes of searching Viable Town, this guy still hadn't shown himself. So we continued with our plan to stop by the Northwest Airfield to stock up on ammo. Then we flanked around to Starry Sabor See if we could get any PvP. You take one up. Hold on, there's a dead zombie in here, bro. Hey, sir. Yeah, bro, zo dead zombie by that beige building. Oh, yeah. But the fact that that's still there, the corpse is still there. Yeah. He's probably in the... T no way. Dude, I see a guy, bro, up on the hill, far. Up on the hill, other side of... <gasps> you know, up on the uh, sniper sill or whatever? Yeah. Bro, I had to take the shot. I have no idea how that didn't hit. But he's on that sniper still, you know, the electrical boxes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see him, I see him, I see him. Two of them actually did. There's two of them. Yeah, yeah, there's two of them. 
One's at the electrical box, bro. One's just to the left. Oh my one? god. No. Yeah, two of them, bro. They want to fight. They want to... He's hit once. Yeah, one, then they couldn't have gone far. We can move around. See if we can get behind them. Oh, I see them, bro. I see them running across the field. Yeah, you ready? Yep, 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 yep. Missed. Yep, same. Missed again. Oh, dude, it's lagging. One's on con, one's on con. Finish him, bro, finish him. Go on, no. bro. <gasps> oh my god. No way, dude. I have him again, I think. Yeah, he's low, he's low, he's low. He's really low, bro. He's aiming at me, bro, if you can get a shot on him. He's dead. Nice. One more, bro, one more. He's on opposite side, running like left to right. Cab. Okay, oh bro, this guy's actually quite good. I just wanted to loot him real quick just so we can yeah. plate carry badly down. SVD mag? Alright. CR527, I wanna grab that. Oh shit, oh, I'm here. Yeah. I don't know where that's from. That was suppress. That's probably a different group. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a different group. I'm gonna get to this barn. Yeah. They were towards Star, eh? Yeah, I see one, bro. Um, two of them. Two of them at least. Exactly where I'm aiming, dude. Exactly where I'm aiming. 400 meters. 400 meters. I've hit one. I've, I've killed one. I've killed one. Okay. We could actually probably push around. Yeah. Like, what way? Probably back the way we came from. Yeah. Because I think they killed a guy, and I killed a guy that was looting a body, so... Yeah. Yeah, right here's a body. Two bodies. Yeah, Moe's in here. Oh, bro, he's geared. Shit, man, he is geared. I hate when they're geared. Yeah. Because now we have to stop. Screw it, I'm just going to prone on this guy, okay? Yeah. Give me a sec. Okay. Um, You ready? Yeah. Okay, bro, let's go. Oh shit, are you good? Yeah? I'm good. Whew, bro, that was tough. That was intense. That was sick though. I actually enjoyed that. Shit, bro, I'm loaded. <laughs> I'm geared. With all of this new loot we'd acquired, we started running back to our stash. But we had a problem, a food problem. So we looted some towns on our way, but we found nothing. Man, okay, food is not easy. I don't know why I thought it was. No food anywhere. Mosin. Ugh, come on, man. No food. No food. No food. Food! Oh, what you got? Tuna. Bucks. It'll do. It'll do. Finally, enough food to get us through to the next day. So after sharing the tuna can, we returned to our stash. But it was getting out of hand. We had too much loot. Oh my god. We're loaded, man. This is ridiculous. So, our goal for the next day was to build a base. Somewhere where we could store all of this precious loot. But, we were still struggling to find food. And our luck was not getting any better. Oh no, bro. What? I stepped on a bear trap. Amazing. Just when shit couldn't get any worse, I've stepped on a fuck. I patched on my leg and limbed around until I eventually found some food, which kept me going until I found a cow and the meat we got from that would last us hours. My leg had also now healed and we could start searching for the base supplies we needed. Until... Oh shit, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. Yeah. I'm on con, bro. I'm dead, bro. Fuck. I'm in hat. I'm dead. Wait, she been chopped down right in front. Really? For piano. Imagine these are the guys that killed us. There's a few trees cut down. They surely they built by now though. Yeah, they built, bro. 
Ooh. Do you know the thing is, bro? I think we have enough to raid. I actually think we'd have enough to raid this. Yeah. And these are probably the guys that, that killed us at Vibor earlier. But I'd say first, if we, let's just get a base down, I reckon. Yeah. What do you think? Should we do the beige building? Would be pretty good, the fortress. Yeah. All right, let's go, man. We now had a raid target, the Vibor piano base, but we figured were the same guys who'd killed us earlier. But before any raids, First, we needed to build our base, and our plan was to do that the following day. So we returned to our stash, logged off, and logged back on the following day. So, uh, it is another day on the server. We've, we've gathered, like, all the supplies we need, but we all we need to set up a base now is either a hammer or a hatchet. We're going to make our way over now to the fortress building, which, which is where we plan on building. Try and stash this loot, and then see if we can get either a hatchet or a hammer so we can build because that is all we need hey crash right in front no way you want to go for it yeah i'll grab the bag and go for it okay cloak claymore, claymore nice wait carrier nice svd no way okay bro we need to go holy fuck. that's insane all right guys we made it to pistoshka so we're gonna find some like a bush to stash this stuff and then we're going to search through Pistoshka until we can find this hammer. Yeah, I've stashed. Four digit cold lock. Another four digit lock. So we can get three gates up. Yep. Metal wire. But we need to take that. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, mate. Oh, flipping hacksaw, but no. No hatchet. There's no way we don't find a, ha a hatchet or a hammer here. Another four digit lock. So you've checked every single shed possible, even on this side? Yeah. I don't know then. I think we've got to go to Vibal. Made it to Vibal. We're just going to check this down for the hammer that we need. We still haven't got it. Can you just, bro, can you run past that base real quick, by the way, in the piano building? Yeah. Just see if they've got how many gates they've... We'll obviously loot that for the, sh the sheds around that, you know. But just see if they've expanded at all, if they've got any more gates. They've been raided. Wait, what? They've been raided. Are you serious? Yep. Is there anything left? AS Val and uh, 74U. No storage? Nope. Wow. That makes me question whether it's even worth having a base, dude. Yeah, people can just blast for free eggs like that. That was only up for like less than a day. Less than a day, yeah. I don't know, what do you think? Is it even worth making a base? After seeing that, I don't think so, to be honest. But then what are we meant to do, bro? Like, Unless we build a base far out. You're right, unless we did build a base, like, kind of south. Like, maybe if we built Mergovo. I just feel like we can't keep going how we're going. Like, I just don't think we can keep going at this rate of just... We have no space. Yeah. You know, we need to find... We need a way of building up loot. Alright, well, we checked all the Vibor, and yeah, we found nothing. We didn't find any any hammer or hatchet. Um, we're kind of thinking of building somewhere else, because if this base here, this group that we wanted to raid, has been raided already, less than a day of being up, with three gates, we're going to get raided instantly. So, I think we're going to live somewhere else. We might live towards Rogovo. We returned to our stash, grabbed it all, and made our way towards Rogovo town. It was far enough away from any hotspots, so it was far less likely to get raided. But we specifically wanted to live out of the green building on the south side of town, as it was easiest to fortify. And it was free to take over. Oh, this is a lot less likely to get raided. Oh my god, and there's sh five sheet metal, bro. Oh I feel like that's a bit of a sign, you know? That's the same. Now all we needed was that hammer. I found a hammer, nice! Yes. Okay boys, finally, it's time to get a base. With our base now set up, secured, and all our stash loot stored inside, we decided to take our first trip up to Tizzy Military.
We hadn't been there yet, and we wanted to see if there was any groups PvPing up there. Oh, play in front, play in front. To the right. Close? Yep, close, close, close. Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hide. He's dead. Nice. Good spot, bro. Was it, is that a headshot? That was a headshot, yeah. Do you reckon it's just one? No way, right? Should we go see what he's got? Yeah. Oh my god, he's geared, dude. He is geared. He is geared. Are you able to grab much? Yeah, I'm going to grab all of it. Pretty much. My god. Good kill, bro. You want to loot the tents? Or we'll swing around. Let's start. Let's loot somewhere else first. Dead zombies, man. At the uh, barracks. I'm going to get into the HQ building. Oh my god. Is that active? Wait a minute, oh, dead player. Where? Um, at the barracks where all the dead zombies are. It looks like he's got a plate carrier, but I don't see any weapons. White armband though, so there could be a group here. If we, let's move into the trees. Wait. White armband? Yeah. The other guy that I killed had a white armband in his inventory. Really? Yep. Interesting. Okay, dude, let's flank in the trees to the left of him, and we can probably spot anyone else in there. Guy aiming at me in the bushes, far away. Really? Towards no, the barracks? You know where the yellow building is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, towards there, in the bush. I have no idea where he is. Just wonder if it's possible to loot this guy. Yeah, that's a foul on the floor. No way. What? Wait a minute, there's a... Dead body in here as well. AK-101. I see another dead body as well. Right on band. Oh my god, bro. This guy is juiced, man. He's so good. I'm moving out. There's also another body over here. Oh my god, bro. What happened here? I have no idea. But it's weird though, bro, because no gunshots, man. Yeah. Like none. Have you checked all the Have we checked all the barracks? No. Have we not checked this here? Yeah, no. No. Because that's shut. Do you want to open this real quick yeah. and then. I'm bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, shoot. You good? Yeah, yeah there was. That was a guy. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful, be careful, bro. Did you get hit? No. No. Wow. Oh. We've got to deal with this Mosin guy. Unless we did just rush in and try and kill that guy, but that could end badly. I wonder if he's a ghillie or something, because it's just he's really difficult to spot. The door's shut again. Bro, how much loot is going to be in that? Like, the fact that they're not even there moving. There was a bag in the corner. We have to fight this, bro. We have to. Like, I feel like we got so much loot, but, like, it's just boring. There's no point in leaving without a gunfight. Yeah. Go left, though. Don't, don't instant peek him. Let's clear the left side. Oh. Is that a flashbang? I don't know. Oh, I'm low, bro. My shot. Yeah. It was a tri it was a tripwire, I think. Fuck. I'm gonna push in again anyway. Oh. I can push. I think there's a guy outside. If you wanna push, bro, I'll try and get the trade. You gotta go first, though. Yeah, he's. On. No, oh, I hit him. I, I hit him. I'm dead. Fuck. I'm dead. Fuck. Fuck, man. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. It's such a long run up to Tizzy again. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I can be bothered, bro, to run back. Yeah, me either. I pre fired it and he. Yeah, but I was so low, man. Did yeah. you not get any low at all from the. No, didn't get I, any damage. I, mean, I, I just got flinched hard. If I wasn't so low on HP, man, I could have killed. We could have won that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm getting off. Yeah. Unlucky. This point right here was for sure the lowest in this adventure. That could have been our biggest win yet, but instead we lost everything. And we decided to take a few days break after that, and I returned solo a few days later to see if our base was still intact. 
All right, boys, this is the moment of truth. What is the base going to look like in a second? Okay, it looks like they got through the first gate. And the second gate. Yep. Okay. Well, I kind of expected that. I did not think this base would last very long. But it literally completely totaled. Bases are not really viable on vanilla right now, guys. But our base completely wiped out and losing all of the loot we've been storing since the start, we were back to square one. And my teammate Cameron had no motivation to grind for loot again, so it was back to me being a solo. And for the next few hours, I roamed the map looting and looking for some players to PvP so I could start building up a stash of loot again. But I couldn't find a single player anywhere, and this continued into the following day. It was almost like the server was completely dead. Until I finally had an encounter. Kill you. Yo, can you hear me now? Yeah. Are you bleeding? I'm not. I'm not bleeding, bro. But I'm dying of hunger. Hungry? Yes. Well, this is interesting. This is unexpected. unexpected. Yeah. I shock to you. Did I shock to you? Yeah. Are you on your own, bro? Oh, I have my uh one friend. Ah. But he is not in this building. So what's the plan here, man? What's what's gonna happen? Uh, you're giving me your gun and you go, okay? Okay. Maybe you get to your motion and uh, don't come back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Don't come back, bro. Yeah, I won't. Tell me when I... Tell me when I can struggle, dude. You, you can do it by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder how much I've got left here, though. I mean, I've lost a lot of health. Uh, it could be worse. I could be in... Berezino. Right now. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bit of a zombie problem down here, just so you know, dude. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. I might have to shoot. Bro, I have to say, that shot he hit was ridiculous. He literally peeked and just one at me. Also, me wants to get revenge on this guy and try and kill him, but he did let me live, which is a kind of rare thing. So, I don't think I'm going to try and kill him. I think I'm just going to leave. After that encounter, I made sure to leave the airfield, and I didn't plan on returning. If I would have died right there, especially after two days of not seeing a single player, I probably would have called it quits right there. But that encounter... Maybe it was just a message to keep going. That said, I continued roaming the map for the next two days. But that player that held me up in the ATC was the last guy I would see. And those next two days were spent searching with no luck. Bro, there's just no one around, man. Honestly. Like, I've been running around and I've not found or heard a single gunshot. It's just bizarre. I have no idea where any of the players are, man. This is really difficult. Like, I've killed zombies. I've just been waiting for someone to go for the heli crash after hearing the shots, but nothing, man. It's like it's dead, even though the server's completely full. It's bizarre. Now, it turns out there was actually a bug during this Daisy patch where players couldn't hear any shots beyond one kilometer, which, of course, I didn't know at the time. So I ran around for a bit longer, but eventually I gave up. What's up, boys? We're back in Daisy, and no longer 
in 1.22. We're actually in the 1.23 update. This is the experimental branch. And I thought I'd give it a go. I did get a little sick. So, you know, I am a little under the weather at the moment. Speaking of under the weather, the, the sky is different. This is, uh, there is a new sky box and it's completely different. And yeah, it's, it's really cool. So we're going to be checking it out. I want to just check out the new stuff. I wouldn't mind getting the new M14. We'll see if we can get a good run in. Nice, dude. Got some food. But dude, I've got to take a minute just to appreciate this, bro. It really does look good, man. It really does look good. I like it. I was too close to completing this challenge just to quit. So I joined the 1.23 experimental servers to finish what I'd started. But not just that. I wanted to finish this challenge on a high. So my goal was to head to the Northwest Airfield as it had some huge changes. And I figured it's where I'd get the most action. So I looted my way there. Oh, Mosin. Wait, I wonder if it's got any ammo. Oh my god, it does, dude. Mosin's good. Mosin is something. Right. I think we, we can go into the airfield. Okay, so this is looking interesting. Let's go check this out real quick. Okay, someone's obviously been through here because we've got a zombie. Okay. Alright, cool. That's pretty cool, you know. The airfield is looking cool, man. Wow. Bro, that's the ATC. It's so open. Like, this is such a throwback to the old Northwest Airfield. Such a big throwback. But that said, I've got to be careful looting this and running around. Ooh, that's chaos. That's pretty good. But boys, look. Just look at Take a look at the airfield. How empty it is. You remember how busy and rammed everything was? Let's quickly try and loot the tents. Wait a minute. I hear the new M14. I think we should go for that. Okay, yes, okay, yes, shots. That's it, that's it. That is it. Those are the shots. Oh, it's getting dark quickly, man. We have to be quick about this. Where are these guys? Oh my god. And this guy's shooting again down here, but I just don't know where that is. It has to be close. No, I got one tapped. I hit him twice, I think. He was right in the bush next to me. That sucks. I still wasn't giving up there, because the next day I got straight back online and started looting my way back up to the Northwest Airfield. I was determined to finish this challenge on a high. Okay, we're uh, just approaching Novi Sabor. I'm dying of thirst, so I'm going to quickly stop off here and check this. Okay, we've got a sniper with one 308 round in it. Do you know what, boys? We could have the biggest come up on this entire video game. And with just a sniper and a bullet, I made it back to the Northwest Airfield, hoping to pull off some sort of play. There's a jailhouse here. Let's check this first. Wait a minute. No! Oh! Son of a bitch. That's gonna bring this guy back over here. Wait a minute. Holy shit. We have a big problem right now. My gosh. Oh. 
Bro, this guy's geared. Right, that's huge. That was a big kill right there. That was a big kill. That was what we needed. Bro, he was literally just camping, like just waiting for someone to step on that. That's kind of crazy. All right, guys, we got to get out of here. Let's go. Oh, bro. That was close, man. I just want to sort out my inventory before I go anywhere here. Okay, there's another player shooting. I'm going to try and push that guy. I think he's over at these barracks. Yeah, he is. That's like a gunfight. He's in the L shape, I think. I'm going to just stay here and we'll just try and watch the outside. And see if this guy pushes out. Oh my god. This guy's pretty good. Three away. Oh, bro, he's so good. I gotta sort this out somewhere else. Ooh, right. Okay, boys, look at that for clearing out an inventory. My gosh. Alright, boys. Not really sure where I want to go next here. I kind of want to wait until someone turns up. I've not checked out this side of the airfield. So I might go over to these comp this like kind of apartment or office block. And just see what's going on. <laughs> My god, someone's put a tent on top of the ATC, dude. Really? Alright, let's do it. Let's get to the other side of the airfield. I slowly made my way around the airfield to the New South compound, and I started familiarizing myself with the area until I spotted another player. There's a guy just gone into that building there. Shit. How did I miss that dude? That's a rookie mistake. Eventually, he managed to sneak away, so I decided to leave the airfield and search the west side of the map until I found the heli crash hoping to find the new M14 DMR. Oh my god! Oh my god! This might be it. Oh guys, it's not looking good. Ah, guys, checked our first heli crash. Nothing. Guess we'll keep running. I continued searching for the next couple of hours, but no luck. And my time left in this challenge was running short. So as a last resort, I returned to the Northwest Airfield. Wait a minute. Oh my God. This might push someone out of this. Wait a minute. There is a guy there. Bro, where's he running to? Okay, I might I might be able to kill this guy. The only thing is if I do kill him out in the open, I'm gonna have to go loot him out in the open. I just hope there's no one in the ATC. There he is. Okay, this is so dumb, but there's only one thing I need on this guy's body. Oh my goodness, mate. Guy's loaded. Alright, let's get off the airfield. Unfortunately, I never did find the M14. The experimental servers kind of died off before I even had a chance to use it. But there can't always be an epic ending. My time on Vanilla Day Z is over anyway. The challenge was complete, and I could finally crawl back to the modded servers. And if you're looking for a new one to play, my server should be releasing soon after the 1.23 Daisy update. It's got a simple tier armor system with less one-taps, balanced medical supplies to speed up your healing, 
no safe zones, balanced keys, key cards, raiding, and much more to come. So if you're interested, you can join the server Discord below. Thanks for sticking around, guys, and until next time, I'll see you soon. And of course, don't forget to use my raid link in the description or scan my QR code for some insane bonuses.